Hi, Mises. I wanted to come on today to chat all things commissions. I really wanted to make these videos so that um, I don't have to keep answering the same questions over and over. And I know that people have been wondering what the difference is between commissions and an original painting. And also, I do it a little bit differently. So that's what we're talking about today. Probably a whole bunch of other random stuff because that's what happens when I come on live and because I don't script any of these things because I don't have time for that. Um, yeah, so for those of you who don't know me, Brenda Mangalore, painter, artist, and I paint these really colourful um, abstract paintings and my style, if you don't know, I don't know what you're doing here, but definitely check it out on my website and um, you can see my paintings and if you sign up for my email list, hint, hint, you get access to the Insider Library and there'll be like wallpapers that you can download for your screens so that your screens can be inspired colourful spaces. And so I, as an artist and as a person, as a muse, as a creative, I believe that art can be an anchor for your self-expression in your spaces and in your lives, in your homes which is everything. And that means that for me, it's more than just a pretty painting. Although I believe in pretty paintings as well, beauty as a form of spirituality, there is something deeper than just being pretty. I believe in beauty as in there's that connection to the divine. It's a connection to yourself, to your soul. And so my paintings, I hope, especially for my collectors, I know because we have these conversations about that my paintings are have deeper meaning and because they're abstract and I've always been drawn to abstracts because even though yes I can draw and I have designer training um, I wanted to go beyond the figurative and I know that certain people get certain people people well you just get distracted by the actual form if it's a still life if it's a person if it's a face or if they're words it becomes more directive and I wanted to create art that evoked feelings and that invoked an internal reflection. I wanted you as a viewer and as for, especially for my collectors, that it gives them an anchor for self-reflection, for connecting to their spirituality, to their inner self, to their higher self, to soul, to their memories, to their values, to trigger memories, to trigger uh, reminders within about what it is that they value, what they desire, or just to remind them that beauty can be more than just a treat that it can be part of your visual life and that it feeds your visual culture in your home and it affects the atmosphere and mood and essence that you are cultivating in your home and most of us our homes and if you don't have this definitely work on it it should be a form of self-expression it should when someone comes in to your home they can feel like it's a reflection of the people who live in it, the passions, the interests, the loves, the values, the culture of the people who live in it. And I mean, that's why when you go to Airbnbs or hotels, it doesn't quite feel like home because it's a little more generic. And the art is kind of like as an afterthought, just so that it's not blank walls, because then it feels like a prison or a hospital, like those things still affect us. And we should be um, mindful and conscious about the things that might feel like an afterthought but really does affect you even if it's subconsciously. So that was a little random rant down there but about cultivating a conscious and mindful space but it is important because original paintings and art as I believe and obviously I'm a little biased because this is my work but serves as an anchor for your self-reflection meaning that you could definitely have you know your vision boards your your photos of memories but art can go deeper than that it can connect to if you're celebrating a milestone currently and you remember the time that you bought it and you remember how you felt when you saw it and then you also remember how it's going to be a reminder of your future self and of what it is that you long for because there's this culture and this climate that you want to create in your home and then so in the future when you stand in front of it you remember what happened in the past and then the, so then time becomes this fluid thing and you're connected back to what it is that you value so then what's the difference between a commission painting and original painting, right? I've just covered and I could go on and on and this is not supposed to be a video about like the value of art. I'll be making another video on that. But so most people, most painters, if you love art and you know it, this is why you're here and art can mean different things to different people. It can serve as 
just a visual anchor, you know, to, for colors. And there's nothing wrong with matching colors to your couch and stuff. Although I am here for more than that, because that's why if you look at my paintings, if you know my paintings, they're colorful, they're abstract, they are statement pieces. You, you, you don't, they're not to blend into the rest of the house. They stand out. And so my dream and intention for my collectors and my clients is that it stands as a piece that you commune with every day because you will see it, you will notice it, you'll remember, you will notice different details every day. It kind of evolves and grows with you as you live with it because that's the nature of my paintings, of abstract art, of all the different colors because you will see different things, you will feel different moods, you will connect with it and remember something else and, and it becomes a living piece. And so an original piece of work is an original, it's hand painted by me and I've had to put in the time and you can see all the different details and all that kind of stuff. But I painted it in a body of, a body of work, there's a collection I'll release um, every so often, I'm working on the next one currently. And so it usually has certain elements and um, themes that I might be working on but in the end it's all generally the same thing I have my certain marks like the dots that I use I have my spirals which is my visual anchor it's like a motif if you want to use that word I'm not sure that's the correct term but I use that to um it's to mark and anchor a piece because otherwise it's just chaos of color and marks and paint and I want my work to always sit in that balance between it looks chaotic and random and paint was just splashed everywhere, kind of like life, the chaos and, and overwhelming messiness of life. And yet there will always be a sense of composition and intentionality with my work because I'm using my designer background, I'm using my expertise and, and my experience of knowing color and composition and design skills to cultivate this and, and to, to create a composition and to have visual anchors like my spirals, which then helps you navigate what you're looking at. Um, and because there's this sense of intentionality and consciousness, it's this tension between random chaos and stuff and choosing what it is that you're gonna focus on. And that's what my spirals visually serve as. Sometimes they are just visual anchors so that they, they kind of hold in chaotic elements and then the space around it is a little calmer and sometimes they are the calm spots while the chaos is all around it um sometimes the spirals are like windows they kind of they kind of bring your focus to one area that is the underlayers and if for me it's about reflection of your past it's a window to past layers while other present future layers kind of come up and at the same time as a window you kind of kind of peer through all the different layers um so I love that kind of play. And so with my original paintings, you're just getting whatever comes as a body of work. As a commission, now just as general, commissions for a lot of artists means they have a certain style, a certain uh, kind of painting. And I hate to use this word formula, but it's not really a formula, but you kind of know what it is that you're gonna get. And they have a certain voice, artistic voice, and maybe in terms of like what they have currently available, it's not the right size, it's not the right shape to fit the space that you have in mind. And so a commission means you pick the size, the color palette, the, you know, whether you wanna have gold leaf on it or not. Um, and then that's the commission process. And so for a lot of artists, that's what they have, which is totally cool. And that's totally what I would do with my favorite artists when I have a space and they want a specific size and I know what I'm going to get roughly. And so it's a, it's a great balance between kind of knowing what you're going to get, but then letting them do their thing because you know that they cannot repeat the same paintings. Or maybe you have a painting that or you love of theirs, but it's sold. And so then you, you ask them to create something inspired by that piece. So it's kind of similar, like a sibling, but it's not the exact same piece, obviously, because an original painting is original. That's the whole point. That's the difference between the two. A commission is when you are basically kind of ordering like a custom bespoke personalized version depending on what the artist process is and I can obviously only speak about my own. Now when it comes to my commissions they're a little different because I don't repeat the same thing and I can't even copy myself and um, half the time I don't know what's going to happen at the end that's just my creative process and because of the themes and topics that I'm talking about in terms of 
trying to find an anchor amongst the chaos and the mess, um, intentionality and conscious composition versus allowing flow and spontaneous, you know, happy accidents and letting the chaos kind of run around and see where the paint lands. Uh, I can't guarantee an exact composition. I could actually, I could, but I know that the, the end piece would be flat and lifeless and doesn't quite have the same magic. What I found though is this is why my commission's experience is very specific and very um, unique, obviously. I don't know anybody else who does it like this. And it very, it's, it's not for everyone. It's definitely not for everyone. You need to be able to trust me and trust my art, which means you need to be familiar with it and, um, and obviously love color and love my style and love the way I work and the whole process and going on this adventure requires a lot of trust and faith, not just in me, but in the whole creative process in general. And because that is what I am using and the commission means though, we're talking more than just, oh, this is a color palette and this is the size, even though we will discuss that too when we have our commission briefing. We are really more discussing things like intentions. What are the milestones you're marking? Are you celebrating something? What is the visual uh, climate and atmosphere you want to create in your home? And then we discuss your interpretation of my previous work because I'm trying to understand what it evokes in you, what language you're using to mean what, what that interpretation mean when you say this feels soft and dreamy and, and it reminds me of longing. I need to understand what which part of it that you mean that. And when you go, I really love this pink bit. It reminds me of femininity and flowers. I need to know what kind of pink you mean. And so we will then compare with the previous work and obviously look for inspiration within my previous works. But knowing that we're not copying it, we're just taking elements of it. I think of it as like we're picking up bits of DNA from all these different pieces and then putting together. And then again, it's all up to God because like when you make babies, you kind of know what you're going to get, but kind of not because you don't get to choose the way that everything kind of fuses together and what's going to be triggered to turn on, what's going to be turned on a little bit, what's going to be turned on a lot and, and how it manifests itself. And the final piece is always going to be both a surprise for you as well as for me. But at the same time, again, it's that balance of allowing flow, intentionality, God, spirit, the muse, creativity, all of our intentions, both of us, soul connection, all of that to come into play and let whatever comes, comes. There's a lot of trust and faith in that. And yet, of course, balancing it with my skill set, experience, intentional composition, curating and cultivating a specific direction, kind of leading it to what it is that we do discuss in our briefing. And then at the end of it, it will have an element of both. There will always be a couple of surprises. And then at the same time, going, oh, yes, I did. I asked for dots because I really love dots because the dots is not just because it's pretty because it's more than just pretty. It gives a sense of sparkle and it reminds me of the ocean or of the the sky and the universe and the vastness of space and how we're connected to the divine. And, you know, I really love this kind of mark because it gives this sense of play and um, joyfulness. And then we have those elements in there. And so that's the difference between my commissions and maybe other artists that you might be familiar with. Um, and also because that's just the way I work and it's come a long way to put trust in myself in the creative process. But every time I do, it always comes up with a painting that I could have never done on my own because it's, I feel like, even though it still feels like a Brenda Mangler original, of course, um, because I can't make anything otherwise, um, any other painting otherwise, but I know when I look at it, it always feels different because it's not fully mine. It's a collaborative effort with my commission clients. And so that's why they're called conscious communion commissions because we are consciously choosing and we're communing with ourselves and our intentions and I'm you know communing with you and with spirit and your spirituality and we want to create this masterpiece that is custom and bespoke to you but it is more than just the color and the surface area of black sizes and things and what elements you want to put in it but it's about consciously 
putting our intentions in there and you're going to remember that every time you look at the painting you're going to um, remember where you were at then and what your hopes and dreams were and in the future when you look at it you're going to remember that time that past self but also the future self that you're working towards and where your present self is now and then at the same time be reconnected to all of that all at once and then remembering coming back when life is chaotic and messy and crazy and you feel like you've lost touch with yourself, with your values, with your dreams, with your desires, with your spirituality, with your relationship, with all the things that you value. You will look at this painting and you will remember and you remember what it is that you were truly calling to yourself, that you value, that you want to stay connected to and have a daily communion with more than just having a conversation with more than just a living relationship like communion i think of it as really having that connected relationship conversation connection i've said all the words that is my joy and privilege of doing commissions and so anyway i gotta get to painting i hope that that's been clarifying and Um, inspiring for you I hope that even if you don't work with me with my commissions paintings um, keep an eye out on my original work body collection gets released especially to my email list or if you follow me on Instagram definitely um, or here but even if you don't I hope you take with you that you have the power and you are allowed to consciously curate and create a space that reflects you, that reflects your heart, your interests, your values, your desires, and it feels like a self. It, it feels like a space that is your way of self-expression. That sentence didn't quite make sense, but yes, to consciously choose that. And if you're not, if you're feeling looking around your home right now and you're like, everything is still kind of a work in progress, that's great because you're still a work in progress, but maybe you need to be a little more intentional and conscious about doing something about it. There's always a lot of talk of, yes, when this happens, and I totally get that. I'm in the middle of um, working on building a new home and everything. So there's a lot of stuff we're waiting, waiting. When the new home is built, we then, then. But at the same time, right now, I can still be conscious and um, intentional about cultivating my space and keeping the things that hold meaning for me and choosing items that I bring into my home that holds meaning and intentionality or even if that intentionality meaning is that this is beautiful as well as functional but also it feels like me like if you had to choose even like cups between one cup or the other which one feels like you which one feels like not the you that's today that might be tired and hangry and um full of I don't know doubt but also the you that is hopeful and intentional and believes and um has is connected in full expression to your purpose and calling and creativity like what is that you what does that you look like what does that you do what is the what does that you want in her home you can bring elements of that in now and uh, be conscious about that and cultivate that space, not just for yourself, but for people who live with you, your children, your partner, whoever it is that you're living with. And, and that's, I mean, it's always a work in progress, right? It's not just all about you. You have to like have a, a bit of everyone in there and so that you can come into a place so that your home is more than just a place to put all your stuff and to sleep and to eat dinner and have breakfast. It can also be a place that you feel like you can fully relax and be all of you and it's a reflection of you and your loves and reminders of and basically all those reminders and connection and being a window to who you are is so that when you come into your space in your home you can be rejuvenated and reconnected to that and really come out of it feeling um on purpose and um more hopeful and with deeper trust to yourself and really cultivating that life of joyful purpose which is what I'm all about and part of that means things that feel joyful and yet has a purpose but also your purpose so anyway I hope that's been clarifying um I will be doing more videos of talking about my commissions and what they mean and ah, and all that kind of stuff 
thank you for being here. Uh, let me know in the comments what it is that, I, like, where do you sit? What's your space like? Does it feel like it's intentional and it's a reflection of you and the people who live with you? Or what would you need to do to kind of start? Baby steps. I always believe in baby steps because we pursue progress, not perfection, because um, you'll never get there, you'll never do it. How, what's a baby step that you can take to start being more intentional? And sometimes that just means decluttering and getting rid of stuff that holds no meaning for you, that you've forgotten about, that has like you unintendedly left in your home for too long, or it's actually just, you know, bringing the energy and vibe down, um, getting rid of that stuff. And, and that includes the stuff in your mind and the stories that you tell yourself about what you can, you can't do as well. I will see you next time. Thank you for being here and remember that you are allowed, you are creative, you are allowed to be intentional and conscious about creating a space for yourself and if you are interested in my commissions um, experience, because that's what they are, definitely private message me on here and um, we can have a talk and see whether or not it kind of fits and then I will send you the link to organize a discovery call um, because I need to chat to make sure that it's the right fit before I put you on my calendar. This is the perfect time to think about that um, before Christmas, before the holiday crazy season. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!